There's a trio of Sharks players to talk about when it comes to trade rumors. Let's begin with Timo Meyer. What are the most recent developments that you're hearing? Well, one of the more interesting ones is that Elliot Friedman said that the Sharks are willing to let teams talk with Timo Meyer about an extension. And this is, of course, uh, pending a, a, a good offer from, from that team to the Sharks. Now, Timo is an RFA, but he has a $10 million qualifying offer. And that sort of scared off some teams because you don't want to trade for him and then be put in a position where you have to give him $10 million. But in this case, though, so if the Sharks let, uh, let Timo talk with teams first or his agent, Claude Lemieux, uh, then that is an interesting development. And sort of seems like that will be a prelude toward Timo leaving. But I do want to add that I spoke with uh, Claude Lemieux, Timo's agent, and that is the same Claude Lemieux that used to play with the Sharks a long, long time ago. Uh, but Claude said that uh, he has not closed the door on the Sharks uh, uh, resigning Timo. And I think that's kind of uh, in line with just uh, Mike Burr's very open transparency with everything that's going on. All this stuff is very public, uh, but that doesn't seem problematic for anybody. Yeah, March 3rd, again, is the deadline. We should know one way or the other how this pans out for Timo and the Sharks. Okay, Eric Carlson, is there actually a timeline out there on, on what his future might hold? Well, another one where there's a little uh, speculative, but it is from somebody who is an insider, Pierre Lebrun. Pierre Lebrun thinks that Eric Carlson will not be a Shark by next season. Uh, he, uh, he thinks that it's difficult to trade Carlson by the trade deadline just because of his contract. But in June, though, the AHL and PA will have a better sense of what the salary cap will be in future in future years. And so teams will have a better sense if they can fit an Eric Carlson in. Now, myself, I think that the Carl the the contract is so massive with Eric that it's hard to see how anybody can fit it in even in, in the summer. But we do know, and Eric has said this many times, that he does want to win. It's kind of two things with Eric. Number one, he wants to win. But number two, he is happy here in San Jose. Uh, of course, the problem is that San Jose isn't winning. And so that will kind of bring things to a head at some point. Pierre Lebrun, a, a reliable hockey source, but also a great wine guy. I don't know if you know that. Uh, you definitely <laughs> want to have a drink with Pierre. Trust me. Uh, last I but not with him. I have yeah. wine with him, so I'm going to have to check up with him. Check, check Get around to that. Hey, uh, last but not least, James Reimer's name, I think, is out there. I'm not sure what the market's like for him, but a lot of people feel like he may not end this season with the Sharks. What's the value of the market for him right now? Oh, I've spoken uh, with the source, and uh, the way the source put it to me is that, you know, James has not had as good a season as he's had last year. And also, too, you have to look at it in a sense, too, where James Reimer, I don't think he's seen as a true blue starting goaltender in the league. Now, those are the guys that might get a first or second round pick at the trade deadline, guys like Marc-Andre Fleury or Robin Leonard in the past. But a guy like Reimer is seen as an insurance guy, a very good insurance guy, but uh, on a playoff team, he's not seen as a true number one. And so I think that his uh, what he might uh, bring back for the Sharks uh, might be third, fourth, fifth round lower, you know, lower than I think the fans would expect. And uh, of course, that market can pick up if uh, James play improves this season. But also, too, if, uh, if you know, there's a lot of uh, goaltending injuries, that sort of thing. And, and with that kind of market. But again, though, um, I think that uh, James is not necessarily seen as that uh, playoff number one guy. And so that's going to hurt his market. Shang Pang coming to us thanks to WebEx by Cisco. Have a great rest of your Saturday, buddy.